boiling a kettle. This will be for my lemon water and my bone broth. So what I've done is I've got half a lemon and I just squeezed all the juice out in this. And I've just popped it in this glass. This glass is actually 500 mils of um, lemon water. So that's an easy glass that I have gotten. And yes, I have measured it out before. And this one is my bone broth. So this is the bone broth that I use. It's by Meadow and Marrow Bone Broth. It's actually really nice. I get the curry flavor. They also have like a lemon and herb, I think it was. But that's the one I use. And I get it from my acupuncturist. And I just simply have just a bit of a, table, a teaspoon of that. And I pop in there. And then I'm just going to be adding the hot water in both of them. At least up to about here. here and then I just add cold water from the fridge. So that's my hot water done, and then once I pop the hot water in, I just mix this around till it all dissolves. Cold water has been added into both now. So the reason why I have warm um, lemon water and bone broth to start off my morning is because that helps your digestive system kick in, and it also helps to digest a lot of foods that you eat throughout the day. So warm to um, hot is perfect for your digestive system. It's just so helpful and it also is really healthy for you to have some bone broth in the morning as well. It just helps with all of that. It's um, got so many amino acids and essential minerals in it and fats and like healthy fats of course and yeah, and it's just perfect. So that's what I have to start off my day. Please come to visit me. Hey, Say hello. Hi. Alrighty, next I'm going to have two boiled eggs. I have to tell you the truth, I hate eggs at the best of times. Like I only have egg when it's fried or it has to be fried, but it has to be with either sausages and canned tomato or um, what is it, the like fried tomatoes. It cannot be just egg by itself. Today I'm going to have an all-time favourite. I'm going to get two eggs They're in the pot and I've popped on the stove. I'm just going to let that get to, to boiling point and then I'm going to pop in my two eggs. That is boiling. I'm going to butter two pieces of bread. I use the rye bread, the whole rye meal flour and some olive oil spread. I'm going to butter two of those and voila, all buttered. Now I'm just waiting for my eggs. Now my water's boiling. I've just popped in my eggs to boil it and I want them hard. I want them all hard in inside, like I don't want soft eggs. So I'm gonna let that boil. Beautiful eggs are all done and I know they're nice and hard inside. I'm going to start mashing them up with a fork. That's all done and it's looking great. I'm just going to add some salt and then here's the twist. I'm going to add some curry powder. So now that de that delightment has happened, I think they usually call this deviled eggs if they add curry powder in your eggs. But next I'm going to add some mayonnaise onto that and then voila, it's pretty much done. This will be one of my childhood best breakfasts to go to. It's literally like I haven't had it for years, so I'm so glad that I'm trying it today. And yeah, I'm gonna go and enjoy it. Hey guys, well, it's lunchtime now. I'm having a late lunch. Um, I'm just having leftovers from what I made last night for dinner. It's basically just like hockey and noodles with some chicken, carrot, um, snap peas, ginger, garlic, and soy sauce and honey, and it's actually really nice and the good part is it's all healthy. I'm actually having quite a late lunch today. It's like 2.45, nearly 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm deciding to have lunch. I've just been like munching on like chocolate and stuff like that and yes I know not good at all but I don't know but I just decided it's a bit late now I think I should have some lunch so that's what I'm doing.
Sorry about the really bad camera quality, but I'm actually filming off my phone as my vlogging camera actually died on me today. So that's what I've been using. But anyway, I just thought I'd update my what I eat in a day. I've just literally made myself an English breakfast tea. Everyone always says, do you want a bit of tea with your milk there? Because literally it's just, just milk. I usually have like half, well, a bit more than half a cup of milk with my hot tea. I've cut out sugar in my tea. I used to have at least one or two teaspoons of sugar in my tea. And I've recently cut, not recently, but I just cut that out and I've just been adding a bit more milk. I just use cow's milk. It's probably not the best for you, but I can't drink like almond milk or coconut milk with the tea. Like I've tried and I just couldn't stand it. So back to plain old cow's milk, you know. But um, yeah, so I am just sipping on some tea. I've been really bad today because I've been eating a bit of like... I got roses, the chocolates for my birthday the other week and I've just been munching on those so <laughs> I've been a bit bad but I'm just laying in my bed at the moment and I'm just about to dive into my newest book because I've just finished my other one which was really really good, I liked it but yeah so I'm not going to bore you anymore, I'm going to drink my tea and get on with my book and then I'll see you for dinner. Obviously, I kind of forgot to film my dinner time um, a couple of days ago. This is actually my dinner time from like a day or two after. I'm really sorry because I just got caught up in things and whatnot. But yes, this is what I'm having for dinner tonight, which is my burrito. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching my What I Eat In A Day video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it or indeed you did enjoy it and I did have a lot of fun filming it for you guys so I will see you guys in my very next video which will be in the very near future. Bye!